so we will start the session now hello everyone good evening so welcome to today's webinar on the topic enabling users to download big blue button recording as a video file thanks for joining us today so let me start the session with a quick introduction about 3e software solutions so myself sasank here i lead digital marketing at 3e along with me on the speaker panel we have mr anmol prakash anmol is our vp operations and he also leads big blue button solutions delivery before i pass it over to the speaker panel let me give you a quick intro about 3e software solutions so we are a technology company providing e learning solutions to training education and corporate industries so we are specialized in designing and developing full fledged e learning ecosystems for example lms and e commerce for training businesses lms and virtual classroom for academy and training and lms and erp for corporates so well that's a very brief liner kind of intro so Anmol will lead today's webinar and he will walk you through how you can download the Big Blue Button session. What are the limitations and benefits? So as the session goes on, you may post your queries over the private chat to me or Therese and we will take up your queries at the end of the session. So that's it to set a quick base for the session. Now without further delay, let's start the session. Anmol, now it is all about you. Yeah, thanks for passing on the control, uh, Shashank. So, hello everyone. So, as uh, Shashank mentioned, that today's session we are going to see how to download the Big Blue Button recordings in a video file format. So, this is a very common question which has been asked uh, uh, to us that uh, uh, what are the different ways in which uh, you know Big Blue Button recordings can be downloaded and um, there are certain limitations uh, actually so as of now with the default setup of big blue button uh, there is no direct way of downloading the uh, recordings in in any single file format or a single video file format okay so it is uh, accessible right now only through the playback urls which uh, uh, which basically loads up a, a JavaScript player and that JavaScript player takes care of reading the different events file and combining all the different components of a recording. So basically, if I have to give you an explanation, explanation that how the recordings are getting stored. So it's it's a pretty uh, much a complex procedure in big blue button on in which uh, the recordings are getting stored so any session will comprise of uh, different components like for example if we are seeing a, a presentation or a ppt on on a particular session or if you are doing a screen share or if you are doing a webcam share so all these different components are uh, uh, basically they once they get combined it forms a recording but in uh, on the server level side all these components get stored uh, individually and there is a, a five step process in big blue button uh, for a recording to get processed okay and even after that you don't get a single file uh, at the end of it so so basically the um, the demerit right now or we can say the limitation right now is that you cannot download as a single file as of now okay and uh, understanding the overall folder structure of biblio button is a little bit complex for uh, uh, regular users like uh, moderators faculties and instructors because they will not be very well versed with the um, uh, Linux structure at the same time, they may not have uh, um, the idea about the big blue button uh, recording folder structure as well. So, how do we overcome this? Okay, so the question arises is how do we go overcome this? So, community actually has come up with a solution for this. Uh, there are some recorders which are available from the community side, these are the Docker images. Uh, 
which are available and um, you can install it as a additional component in as part of your Duplo button setup and it allows you to convert your uh, um, convert your uh, recordings into your desired format so as of now mp4 and uh, webm is another option uh, which is available with one of the recorders uh, but mostly the common requirement here would be about uh, uh, mp4 format so if you are able to download the uh, recording session recorded session in an mp4 format then that helps you to distribute it uh, offline and uh, to uh, even to even to archive it on your uh, uh, local repositories or your local storage it will help uh, if you get to download in mp4 format but again with those tools the limitation is that you should be uh, knowing more about uh, uh, you should be knowing about how to run these tools how to run these uh, scripts which you are additionally installing it okay so so basically what these tools will do is uh, these scripts uh, ultimately what they do is they uh, they run as a headless they they run a headless browser uh, like chrome and uh, within that they open the uh, recorded session uh, and that recorded session will be screen uh, screen recorded again and then as an output it uses the uh, uh, encoders to create an mp4 format as an output okay so basically that is the high level uh, working of uh, uh, of these recorders which are available from the community side but the, there is again a limitation here is that uh, somebody has to be as i mentioned somebody has to be uh, uh, you can say uh, familiar with how to use these scripts on the server side how to run these scripts on an ubuntu server okay so these are the uh, again uh, dependencies right now so as a service uh, what we are trying to do over here is we uh, try providing a service here okay so where our team will take care of setting up the recorder module okay and, uh, and so we will set up uh, the recorder module to automatically convert the recordings okay so the way it works is the moment your uh, uh, recording processing will finish automatically a mp4 file will all uh, will be available to you uh, for a on the server side so to download it uh, we are also providing if let's say if you are creating or if you are conducting your meetings through the green light interface which is available as an additional uh, uh, additional package with the with blue button so we have already provided uh, we have already uh, added a download button there okay on the ui interface so that you can directly download the uh, recorded session from the uh, user interface itself and you don't need to go at the server level so uh, the moment the recordings will be available even the uh, mp4 file also will be available to you for a download through the green light interface and we have come up with an api also so if let's say you're not using green line and if you're integrating it with uh, some additional application like Moodle or wordpress so these apis can also be utilized uh, uh, for you to additionally integrate it uh, additionally integrate a download link uh, on your respective application so so in our roadmap, uh, we are also coming up with uh, uh, a, an independent UI interface, uh, which will allow you to download the meetings in MP4 format by just entering either the meeting ID or uh, uh, you can pass on the um, playback URL of these recordings and uh, your recording, recording will be uh, I mean, you can rec download the recording in the MP4 format of that. So, so to avail this service, basically you can, uh, uh, we are 
we have our standard BigBlueButton installation and setup service. Uh, as part of that uh, standard BigBlueButton installation and setup service, we are additionally uh, going to provide this uh, as uh, one of the service where you can um, where where this recorder and uh, the that is recorder and the uh, uh, automation will be set up on your infrastructure. Otherwise, you can also avail it as an individual service from our team where uh, uh, if you have already got a blue button installation done on your infrastructure side and you only require this recorder and the automation to be done. So we will do that. Okay. And as and when this independent UI interface will be available, we'll pass on this uh, uh, interface as well to you. Uh, without any additional cost. So just to give you an uh, overview idea that how the overall, how this independent interface is going to look. So this is the, uh, this is the mock-up UI, what we have planned. So the plan is to have the authentication also in the place so that uh, no random person should be able to download this okay so only the authorized person and the authorized uh, roles should be allowed to access this uh, so suppose if we add this uh, uh, section as part of the green light package uh, so or we may also deploy this as an independent uh, url where your uh, moderators or your faculties or the instructors will be able to access it and uh, once they have successfully logged in they can enter the meeting id or they can mention the playback url and they can download it so this is the overall idea this is uh, uh, this is this is still under uh, development and we are planning to release it in by end of uh, december and uh, this will be this will become as a standard offering as part of our uh, uh, standard services like standard installation big blue button installation and etc so so the next thing uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'll show you the demo that uh, how you can right now uh, download the uh, videos uh, be it from the green light interface or be it from that server side also because the video file will be now available immediately after the recording processing is done so uh, what i'm going to do now is i'll do my screen sharing and uh, we'll take you through the process at uh, how the overall uh, what are the different steps involved here I hope my screen should be visible. So here I have got a dev environment and uh, I'm logging in into the green light interface. So I've got a home room meeting over here and what I'm going to do here is uh, I'll start this meeting. So just to avoid the echo with this, um, I'll be joining in the listen mode only. Only person in this conference. So this is a, the dev environment which we have. Okay, and uh, with some color changes which are going over here um, but uh, our main focus here is on the recording side okay so this particular meeting if you see uh, has already got a presentation or a ppt uploaded as part of it by default so i'm just going to keep it as it is uh, and uh, what i will do is i'll start the recording so uh, I have started the recording and uh, I'll try to keep the recording time as to the minimum. Let's keep it for 10 seconds or 10 to 12 seconds. And uh, the next step, what I'll do is I'll end this meeting. 
Okay, so what it will do is it will start the processing of the recording immediately after I have uh, clicked on end meeting. So then what I'm going to do is I'll go onto the server side. I have already logged in onto the server side here. Okay. And uh, this is one command which is useful to see whether you are uh, processing, what is the processing going on into the server side. Okay, so if you want to see what is the status of the uh, recording, then these are the different, uh, what it basically this command will do is, uh, it will list down all the last uh, uh, 10 to 20 recordings which has been processed onto the server side. So the latest one which you must be seeing over here is this one. Okay, so, and uh, all these columns, it represents that what type of uh, uh, components are there. For example, audio, presentation, video, desk share, events, okay. And these are the different uh, steps which are there, RAS, basically, it, these moves. One first thing is recorded, and then the second uh, A represents uh, it's archived, and S is a sanity process which is done uh, on, as part of the recording processing. And once the sanity check is done, the process processing will start, and uh, after the processing, it will be published. Okay, so as you can see right now, the cross mark is right now below S over here. So right now, this current recording which I have just uh, completed. It's under sanity check and now it has come to processed uh, state and it is using this script to process the, uh, this is a basically the script name which you are seeing over here. And uh, after which, uh, once this will complete, uh, it will go into the published mode. So now the recording should be available. So if I go back, uh, onto the green light interface and refresh. Okay. So as you can see, this is uh, the recording which we just took and uh, this recording is available for download, okay. And as part of the green light interface, what you will notice is we have included a download option over here. So if the meeting belongs to a green light, I mean, if meeting was launched through the green light interface, right now you can directly download the uh, recorded meeting in the mp4 format just by clicking on this download button so this download button will not be available as part of the default uh, uh, green light interface so this is an additional enhancements which we have added and it downloads the video as you can see it's available in mp4 format and uh, if i click on it it will have the same presentation and the audio because uh, i didn't enable the audio but it will if it will have the audio the audio will also be uh, played back here so all the pointers as you can see so whatever was done as part of that uh, recording it's showing up over here so it's that easy uh, when it comes to green light interface so now coming to the scenarios let's say if you are currently conducting your sessions through some lms like moodle and uh, one way as i mentioned that we have an api which can be integrated with your uh, moodle interface uh, and which will allow you to have a download link at the moodle level as well but that requires certain bit of customizations on the moodle side the other possibility here is that we can I can show you how to obtain the uh, how to obtain the uh, file from the server side. Okay, so first thing what you can do is you can just click on this record uh, 
this uh, uh, command and uh, you just execute that command and what you will find is a meeting inter internal meeting id so you can copy this this is the last uh, uh, recording which we have just completed okay and after which you can go under if you are install it on a 16.04 uh, open to 16.04 then you will require uh, administrative access as well or you can say the sudo access to access these folders you can go under slash wall slash big blue button and do an ls okay here you will see some file folders folders are there okay all your processed uh, all your published recordings so will be available under the published folder okay and all your uh, uh, different stages different or you can say uh, the when when the recording is being process, processed so these different component goes through some different state okay so it starts from a raw state and then goes to the published state so there is a five step process involved there so the raw files will be under available under recording folder so you can go under published we, we will go under published folder and here you will find another folder presentation so in here what you see is there are different uh, uh, folders created using some randomly generated uh, ids okay so these are nothing but the internal meeting ids of your uh, uh, sessions which you have started and to go directly to the meeting uh, which for which we have taken that for which we have taken the recording just now since i have copied that internal meeting id what i will do is just uh, paste it over here okay. and if you go inside this what you are going to see is this has got different uh, components again. So these are the process or the published files, okay? And uh, the new thing, or you can say the extra thing which you're going to see over here is this video.mp4, which is not going to be part of your standard, uh, or you can say the vanilla deployed uh, big blue button. So this is coming up over here because we have automated the process and uh, the recorder which we are using. It automatically uh, generates this video.mp4 the moment the processing or the publishing of the recording is completed. Okay. So, so one way of downloading this is if you are comfortable with Linux, you can just use commands like HTTP and then uh, you can give the path of this uh, video. You can give the path of this video.mp4 file and uh, you can download it to whichever local machine you want to download it. So, this SCP command should be run actually from uh, after disconnecting from the server. Uh, if you are not comfortable even with this, uh, if you are not comfortable with this Linux uh, terminal, then other option is you can make use of. Uh, uh, of sftp tool like filezilla or winscp okay so i have already configured the site here or the details about my server and we just need to connect here so after i have connected to the server i need to go to the same folder structure so i'll go on the var quickly button then I'll go on the published presentation. And uh, this was the folder. And this, this is basically the meeting ID or the internal meeting ID for which we took the uh, recording and when we showed you the example. So here this MP4 file will be available. So you just need to double click it and this whatever folder you have selected on your uh, uh, on your uh, i think wherever your 
local machine folder has been set up. So the, the video.mp4 will be downloaded. And then if you click on it, same file will be available. So, so this was about uh, how you can uh, make use of uh, um, basically how easily you can download the mp4 file and uh, uh, download all your files into a then download or combine all your different components of a, um, of a big blue button recording into one single file. Because if you look at the uh, published folder or the published file itself, uh, so it has got different uh, components here. So for example, if you go on the presentation here, the presentation will have uh, all different slides, pictures and everything, whatever number of slides you have uploaded under the um, meeting, all those will be one component. And then after that, your uh, audio will be combined with the uh, webcam and then it will be kept as a one webm file. But it doesn't give you the information. So let me show you what information it has. I'm just downloading this just to show you uh, how it looks. So if you try downloading this webm file, which is uh, by default will be available from the uh, big blue button record after the big blue button recording processing has been done. So if I try playing this, it doesn't have any slide information. Okay, so that's the demerit. So you the slide will be kept or uh, stored as a separate component, and then audio and the video, basically the webcam sharing, uh, web, shared webcam uh, feed will be stored and combined together and will be stored in this webm format but all the things will not be combined together into one single file so that is where this recorder functionality is required and uh, uh, as you saw we have automated it and uh, the video dot mp4 file will be available by default you don't need to run any extra script over here to uh, uh, to make this uh, uh mp4 file available on the server side after which you can if let's say uh, if you're using green light interface you we have developed an additional api and integrated it already with uh, green light which allows you to download uh, the this particular uh, video.mp4 file at the same time if you want to integrate this with a uh, third party application like mobile or wordpress we have an api which can be exposed otherwise the third option which we have here is to directly log on to the server side and download these videos if you want to archive them and then later on distribute it as well. So this I hope this demo must have given you an idea about uh, how a service uh, uh, can be uh, useful over here and uh, what type of automation has been achieved and as of now, how these APIs can give you an additional benefit uh, about uh, on downloading the MP4 files. And at the same time, as I mentioned in our roadmap, there will be an independent uh, uh, interface also, which we are coming up with, which will allow you to download the uh, videos even for even if you are if you don't want to integrate, right? Uh, you can just uh, mention the meeting ID or drop the playback URL over there, and it will allow you to download the MP4 file. So this was about today's demo. So. Now, if you have, uh, if, let's say, if so there are any questions which have been asked, then I'll try to answer them. So, the questions which are available, uh, 
on the public chat is the first question is can there be access control who are allowed to download and who are not allowed so as part of the interface which we are coming up with uh, we are always we, are, we have already planned that there should be an authentication layer on top of it so now that authentication layer uh, will take care of let's say if you don't want to give an access to somebody who um, who should not be downloading these videos okay uh, they will come to the green light interface but they will not see the uh, download link okay so that can be decided on the basis of uh, the roles that's why as i mentioned during the demo also so we can restrict it on the two bases one is uh, definitely first level is an authentication should be must the second layer should be the role wise if let's say the role is like uh, a moderator or a role is someone like an administrator then they just should be able to download if the role is say students okay so in that case they should not be allowed to download again that is that is something which can be controlled as an additional permission option which we will be going to make so <clears throat> the next question here is uh, have a moodle side integrated with uh, the blue button on the server side Moodle and BigBlueButton are running on the same server. I'm facing a lot of glitches during the session. Is it because recordings are stored on the same server? What would be three recommendations to overcome these issues? In general, it is recommended not to have uh, Moodle and BigBlueButton running on the same server. Uh, why? Because uh, BigBlueButton requires good amount of resources and because of which your Moodle site performance will be affected because of it. So if you're facing the glitches on the Moodle side, probably I'll suggest to separate the instance and uh, allocate uh, some dedicated uh, uh, resource for Moodle your, if your LMS site is actually facing a lot of uh, traffic and then you have planned for certain capacity, then I'll suggest to keep it separated and run big blue button separately on a dedicated uh, server where uh, you completely dedicated hardware just for the big b uh, or you can say big b button uh, needs so because the pro recordings will definitely have uh, a spike uh, on the resources side the recording processing i hope uh, i was able to answer that so if you require more information about uh, how the how the capacity planning should be done for both Moodle and Big Blue Button. So you can contact our team, and uh, we have a standard service which we provide for capacity planning of Moodle and uh, Big Blue Button. So, what will be the approximate size of recording for a one hour session? So as per our observation, we have noticed that a one hour session, which where you are doing a screen sharing, so that accounts for around 120 MB to 150 MB. So that is what uh, we have observed so far. So the next question is, do the recording include the webcam and presentation together? Yes, yes. Uh, I. I think I was not able to, I, I, will, I may not be able to show you right now, but yes, these recordings which we are downloading in the MP4, it will, if let's say the webcam would have been enabled, it will have both the information. So your presentation will be occupying half of the screen and your webcam will be occupying the other half of the screen as part of the recorded output. The other question here is, uh, is there a time limitation for recording the big blue button session like one hour or two hours? There is no um, limitation here, but usually the sessions will be, I believe the usually the sessions which are then going to be conducted over big blue button may not be beyond two hours or so. So we haven't uh, seen uh, customers taking a recording of a uh, large uh, or large duration but yeah there is no limitation as such it's just that uh, once the recording if let's say the meeting length is 
uh, large then in that case the time also which it takes for the processing will be more so in in this case when i was doing a demo i recorded a session of 10 seconds um, but um, if let's say the session size is uh, two hours then even the processing time will increase there and it will have more load continuous load on your server side so that's one thing which you need to be uh, aware about so the next question here is uh, is there a feature in big blue button to increase the speed of video recorded in the session as of now it is not available uh, but you can use after this mp4 file is available you can feed it to any of the third party uh, conversion tool and uh, further increase or tweak the uh, speed there so i think there are so many online conversion which allows you to uh, change the speed of the um, video so i think like, you can make use of uh, any third party tool over there okay the next question here is can you think of providing an option to download a compressed video to minimize the size of the video it's actually already being com uh, uh, compressed so it has got the encoders which takes care of compressing the video because as i showed to you there are different steps which are involved here um, your raw size raw video size would have would be much larger compared to uh, the processed uh, video or the, you can say the published video so actually these videos which you are downloading are already compressed uh, but uh, if there is any specific uh, requirement you have where you want to further compress it and uh, then download it then in that case we can look for an additional layer on top which may impact the quality of the video further because uh, right now the compression which is there it doesn't impact the quality much you will not notice the uh, the impact but uh, if you further compress it the chances are there that uh, your audio quality or your uh, video quality this the presentation which it has may get pixelated a bit so that's something which i can tell but yes that's, that's something which can be looked into if that is one one requirement which you have probably you can connect with us our team has developed such solutions before uh, not with respect to big blue button uh, but with respect to um, uh, different applications uh, where we had taken care of compressing it and then delivering it to the uh, delivering it to the uh, this, desired application so uh, i can remember there is uh, there was a requirement where uh, uh, the video was supposed to be delivered over uh, uh, mobile applications so end users the common users were uh, were supposed to access the video so in such cases it becomes a need that your uh, even your video should be of uh, uh, should be of low size even even though it is being uh, recorded or or uh, uh, uploaded in a higher size the uh, end output should be of the lower size where we have taken uh, care uh, we have used uh, third party services uh, and uh, their apis to integrate and then further uh, optimize the video output so we can talk about it if let's say if you're if you want to have some such solution in place, we can talk about it and uh, uh, propose a solution for it. Is a public chat available in the recording? Um, it is available as part of your recording uh, in the default recording, which is being uh, uh, provided by Big Blue Button. But this MP4 uh, format um, will not include that. Uh, public chat output so if that is a requirement to let us know we will see what are the uh, what is that we can do about it but as of now it is not available 
So another question is, is this possible to record a test presentation with webcam? I think uh, your question is about uh, test, I mean, uh, along with a PPT or along with a presentation, if some moderator is doing a webcam sharing, so both should be recorded together. Uh, if that is a question, yes, that is possible. And it is also available. It will be also available to be downloaded in the MP4 format. So last question which I have here on the public chat is, uh, do you have a guide or manual of what changes should be made in BBB? So no, uh, this is right now being provided as a service. And uh, um, so as of now, we do not have a guide or manual for this. Um, so let's say if you're interested in taking this service, uh, our company will provide this service and uh, uh, against, uh, against the standard cost what we have over here. Right now, there is no manual as such, but yes, there are some user documentation. Uh, which we can provide about how to um, how you can uh, utilize the these uh, uh, links so that so that you can distribute it to your users where they can make use of it and uh, uh, where they can make use of it and uh, understand where to go and download the videos. The, another question here is how could we use this install and use? So this is something which uh, if let's say if you're talking about uh, big blue button, then big blue button documentations are available online. Okay, you can go and uh, check the big blue button installations document and you can try it by yourself if let's say you require help over there um then you can take up uh, one of our standard service for biblu button installation and uh setup where our team will set up the biblu button installation uh, we will do the biblu button installation on our infrastructure and uh, along with that uh, these recorder functionality will also be set up So I think uh, I have tried to cover uh, all the questions and uh, if there is any further questions here then you can drop the uh, drop your query on 3b underscore info at the rate 3 softtech.com okay we'll uh, someone from our team will be will get in touch with you and try to answer that so that's all for uh, today's webinar Thank you, uh, okay. Yeah, thank you, Anmol, for answering the questions and for the great presentation. So this concludes the webinar. Thank you all for attending. We hope you have learned and enjoyed the presentation. We will close the session now.